Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking you through this look step by step. This is a very bronzy and glowy makeup look. Perfect for summer, but also I feel like this is kind of wearable. I feel like it's not anything crazy over the top, even though it is pretty smoky, um, but it's very easy to achieve. I feel like you can wear this with anything. It could be more daytime appropriate, but also something more dressed up for like a date night or a wedding or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to try is not try I've used this before it's the um, rougher hydration cream I've been really enjoying this as my face primer so I'm gonna go in with this I'm just going to apply this on my face I'm sure it's all over I didn't moisturize yet so this is gonna act as my moisturizer and my primer and then I really want to try this new foundation from NARS I've had it sitting here for a couple weeks and I haven't tried it yet so um, this is the light reflecting foundation in the color Punjab Punjab and this is what the bottle looks like I love this like classic NARS packaging gives me the feels. Um, I also have the color Santa Fe. I'm not sure which one's gonna match me better. We shall see. I don't even know if this is supposed to be like a full coverage, sheer coverage, what, I'm really not sure. So just squirt it a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm gonna grab my Fox 4 brush, get up on the back. I'm kind of like working it into the brush before going directly onto my skin. Then I'm just lightly applying it on. Yeah, that color is going to work nicely. Looks like it's got a nice medium coverage with kind of like a radiant finish. It reminds me of the Pat McGrath one a little bit. Might be a little bit more luminous than that one. Up on the forehead. So far, so good. I'm excited to see how this lasts on the skin. I'm excited to just see how it wears with the rest of the makeup. So far, so good. Seems like the kind of foundation that I would really like. Um, and so far, I'm liking it better than other NARS foundations. So we'll see. And the color seems perfect. For concealer, I'm gonna use the one that I've been using. This is the Catrice True Skin. I have this in the shade. 20 warm beige bringing it here under the eyes and then going in with the fo3 brush from sigma i lied totally forgot i wet my beauty blender to blend it in my makeup with so we are gonna do this instead because it's been 500 years since i've used a beauty blender okay i'm just gonna take this all over the rest of the face just to push the product in I'm gonna have to set out this beauty blender just to remind myself to use it more because it's just been so long. I've just been using brushes for foundation for the longest time. So I'll just have to set this out just to remember to play with it again. Okay, then I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Uh, putty bronzer. I love this stuff. Um, hopefully this isn't too cool toned for me right now, but I have this in the color Tan Lines. I've really, really been loving this. So I'm gonna use the 157 brush from Smith. Pick it up on the brush and just start stippling on the skin. Okay, and then get the jawline. So you really chisel that out there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm gonna use the little powder puff and set the face. So I'm picking it up directly, tapping off the excess, and then going right on the side of the nose to start and then push it in. Angle it so that it makes the sharp line. So nice, it just looks so airbrushed. I love that technique. I added a little under there, now I'm just blending that out. And there you can really see the difference. And by the end, once we add more like glowy products and stuff back into the skin, we'll be glowy again, but I just like, I really don't wanna glow right here. That's where I get the oiliest fastest. So this way I'm set in those areas and then I can glow in others so I just don't look overall greasy. I'm gonna grab the Anastasia Contour Kit and just deepen this up a little bit. I kind of just want to use this darkest shade to, or not this one, I think this one, um, just to add a little bit more warmth to the skin just because um, I feel like my face looks really pale in comparison to like my shoulders. 
So I'm not, I don't want to add too much, just a little bit. So I'm going to add some of this shade. I'm just going in with a really light hand because I'm not trying to look like crazy contoured. I just want that color distributed back into my face. All right, see, I think that's a little bit better. Just added just a hint of warmth. I'm also kind of bringing this like right here just so it's not too bright. I think that seems to help a little bit. Little bit of nose contour. I'm gonna use that center shade with a dot of that. And I'm gonna just bring this here just on the nose. Okay, for highlighter, I'm gonna be using the MAC Oh Darling highlighter. Um, this was one of the most popular highlighters when it first came out years ago. They ended up revamping it and bringing it back. I believe it was a limited edition highlighter and I never got a chance to get my hands on it when it first came out but I just remember all of the hype around it and now I believe it's just permanent in their collection. So I'm gonna be using this today. I feel like this is one of the most like, this and Heat Wave from Estee Lauder were one of the more like intense highlighty kind of highlighters before that was like really a thing. So um, I'm gonna be using this. It's kind of like a like true golden bronze. I'm excited. I'm gonna pick it up on a Fox 5 brush and just hit the cheekbones. So beautiful. Grab it with my finger. Do the nose. Ooh, that is a frosty nose. Did a little powder, a little beauty blender. We should be good. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. When you apply it with just a nice light hand, then mm, it just gives such a nice glow. It's I thought this was gonna go on a little bit more intense than what it did. Um, it did once I did the collarbone and I like dug it in, but it's just laying really nicely on the skin, especially because I have more of a tan right now. I believe this would probably work the best for more medium skin tones. So if you're very fair or if you have a very deep complexion, I don't know if this will work. For blush, I really wanna use one of the Makeup by Mario cream blushes. I don't know if I've ever used these before actually. So I brought two out. I think I'm gonna go with this one today. This is Pale Petal. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm Blush. But I do also have this one, which I think would be really pretty. This is Soft Coral. Um, I might end up dabbing into this, we shall see. So I'm gonna pick it up on the Hollywood Complexion Brush from Charlotte Tilbury and start stippling this on my cheek. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the perfect color. It's like bright and cheerful, but not too over the top. I feel like it's really working well with my shirt. I've been really loving cream blushes, especially with this brush. I think it works really nicely. And don't worry, that blush will tone down just a little bit. I've been applying more blush than usual lately just because of that reason. I feel like anytime I do my makeup, I end up having to go back over my blush anyways. So I just started like just applying more of it because then by the end it looks like exactly how you want it to look. So I'm just kind of going over it with my sponge. I wanna check the, yes. So I went a little um, not so heavy handed with my powder today because the last time I did my makeup and I went in with that powder with the poof It ended up getting really caked up and then I kind of went back and forth between powder and cream and it got a little cakey So, um, I was very intentional about not doing that today That's also why I got the sponge out just to kind of like press everything into place. There's like nothing on here It's just you know empty and I think that's when this can really come in handy because since I'm more used to using powders, like normally right now, if I wanted to like blend things together or whatever, I would just go in with a brush, but that has like powder on it previously. So this way I'm not adding more product. I'm just blending things in and pushing them into the skin. So I can see how this is beneficial and I might be using this more often. I want to try a new brow not a new one but this is the hourglass um arch brow pencil i used to use this all the time but then when i ran out i just never repurchased but this is in the color dark brunette we'll see if this um matches me because it's gonna be really really dark it's 
So my brows are filled in. Um, that color actually ended up working out pretty nicely. It didn't go too cool toned and I thought it was gonna be a little too cool and too dark, but I think it's working fine. I'm gonna go in and prime. I'm using the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC and I'm gonna grab this with a Makeup by Mario brush and just get it in there. Just buff this on the eye. With whatever's left over on my face powder brush, I'm just gonna lightly dust that over the lids and then underneath, and we should be set and primed for eyeshadow, minus whatever that is. Okay, I think I'm set. So, what do I want to use? I have some options here. Okay, these are the three bronzy colors that I cannot decide between. Why do I wanna do a combo of all three and make it complicated? I don't know. I do also have like a little dazzle shadow that I think would be fun to add into this mix. Yeah, let's go crazy. Let's let's do it all. So I'm gonna use some Anastasia single shadows today because um, it's been a minute since I've used them. So I'm gonna start with Burnt Orange, this color here. I'm gonna pick it up with a Fox One brush and start this on the outer corner and just kind of work this into the crease. These are pigmented. Blend that around, that'll be the base for everything else. And then look upwards and do the lower lash line. Do the other side, you can see I'm kind of bringing this out over here. Once a lot of the product is off my brush, you don't wanna like start with your product over there because it'll get really harsh. You kinda of want it to just like smoke out that way as if it's fading off into your temples. Or you can keep it contained, you know, whatever. Okay, next I'm gonna go into Caramel, which looks very similar to the Burnt Orange. You can see them next to each other here. It's just this Caramel shade's a little bit darker. This one I'm gonna pick up with a Fox 2 brush. Push this in on the outer lid. Do the same thing, just in a more precise area. So keeping that there. Go back in with the first brush. Blend that out. I'm also gonna bring this on the lower lash line. Just really get that underneath. If you start to look like a little sick, you're doing, you're doing the right thing. It's going well. It's always the vibe. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of smoke from Anastasia. I only wanna use a little bit of this because I don't want this to go like too crazy smoky. I might even mix this in with the caramel shade. I'm gonna pick it up on a Fox 3 brush. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just mix it right in with that other shade. And just start pushing this in at the lashes. Okay, so now for the bronzy parts. I have three different shades that I'm gonna mix around with and then add a little bit of glitter, potentially. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the Makeup by Mario Master Metallics palette. So I'm gonna take this color and put it all over the lid. This is like just a nice, true, kind of like a rose goldy bronze. But then I'm gonna layer in this color and then one more thing. So I'm gonna pick this up on a MAC, I think it's a 242 brush. And just pick this up here and I'm gonna spray this with some setting spray and then just lay this on the lid. And then I'm gonna use the darker, more like rich chocolatey bronze. Same thing, spray it. Pop this on the outer lid. So random, but I'm gonna use the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chrome Paint, and I kinda wanna dot this in between the two, see what happens. Oh yeah. I just added a little bit of zhuzh and pizzazz. Just going in with a little bit of face highlighter, just to highlight the 
brow bone and inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna go into Costa Riche. Oh no, I squished it. Okay, I'm gonna go into Costa Riche from MAC. It's a deep, rich brown eyeliner with like a red hue to it. Okay, I'm lightly gliding this on the upper lash line, very lightly. Just to very slightly smoke up the top. I feel like you really can't tell, but I can. Okay, I'm just applying some mascara before I apply false lashes. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Applying these lashes from Quartz Beauty. And the style is amber. These are pretty unique lashes. They're really piecey and spiky, but they're like wispy and full at the same time. So, but while also being somewhat natural and not overpowering. Anytime I've tried a lash that has that sort of description, more PC and chunky, but like full, it's they end up being like just too much on the eyes. So this is still like see-through and like flirty looking, but like fluffy and natural. Like I feel like I could wear this lash with a lot less eyeshadow if I wanted to. Um, so these are really, really pretty. Okay, and then, I'm just gonna grab my MAC Extended Play Mascara. Balance out these bottom lashes with the top lashes. I'm gonna do like a liquid lipstick kind of thing because I haven't worn one in a long time, but we'll see, I might get it on and wish that I had on a gloss, so let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Vive Cosmetics Bark Lipid, Lipid. <laughs> lip liner um i swatched a couple different colors on the back of my hand it seemed like the nice like deepness but also not too warm or too cool so i'm just gonna line my lips overline them and slightly fill them in and we're done i'm just kidding um i would however love to do a very 90s makeup look pretty soon and do like a more like liner pronounced lip i just think that'd be really fun i grab just a flat brush Probably has some eyeshadow on it. I don't know. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that liner in. Okay, I'm going in with a little bit of Strip Down from MAC to kind of blend this deeper one in. I'm gonna grab Let's Cuddle from Dose of Colors. It's a liquid lipstick. Pick it up here on this brush and just kind of dot this into the lip. And now I don't know if I want this to stay matte or if I want to add a gloss. I kind of want to add a gloss. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but I'm going to add a little bit of the Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Rose Drip. So that is the final look just very bronzy um i had a little difficulty with the lips with getting the tones just right but i added a little bit more of that mac strip down just to warm it up a little bit but overall i'm really happy with how this turned out it's just very bronzy very smoky but not too smoky i feel like this is great for like a summer date night um i'm just really loving the more like glowing looks lately and i'm liking glossy lips that w it's just weird, I'm going through a phase. You guys know I'm normally like into the mattes, not really into the shimmers, and here I am with shimmery eyes and glossy lips. Um, very weird. I will let you know how it goes with this foundation. So far, so good. Um, I don't notice anything like negative about it. It kind of just seems like my type of foundation, so we'll see, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for following along. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you wanna see next from me. And I will see you then. Bye.